How's it going YouTube? It's Ransom here and today I'm going to be doing a how-to video for owners of the Nook Simple Touch device. You know, I have a couple of friends who also use this device for their uh, e-reading and whenever they see mine, the number one question that I always get is, how did you do that? How did you uh, get that photo of you and your fiance as the screensaver? And I went on YouTube and uh, I tried to show them, but I was actually kind of surprised to see that there aren't any how-to videos on YouTube. So. Uh, I don't know if this is the first one, I haven't been able to find one, but I'm going to create a how-to video for you guys and uh, hopefully help you guys out. You're going to be surprised at how simple this is. I would hope that it goes without saying that the first thing that you got to do is take your Nook and connect it to your Mac or your PC via USB cable. Now when your computer recognizes your Nook, you're going to go ahead and click on the icon and it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. It's going to say Lost, DIR, My Files, Screensaver. And go over to Screensaver and go ahead and click that. And you notice that there's nothing over here. And uh, this is what actually has been kind of throwing my friends for a loop. When they've tried to do it themselves, they've only been trying to put pictures in here and that's why the pictures aren't showing up on their Nook. So the one step that they forgot to do is they forgot to create a new folder. You could call this whatever you want, but since you know I'm kind of in a mood for me and my uh, fiance, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna name it her name. So it's gonna be Danielle. And once you have that folder that's named something, that's when you could take any JPEG photo and uh, go ahead and just move it into that folder. You'll notice that Garage Top is down over here. And from here, I mean, you're done. You're pretty much done. Well, actually, you're almost done. So what you want to do after this is disconnect your Nook from your computer, your Mac, or your PC, and go ahead and turn it on. So you swipe it to turn it on. From here, you go to your settings. Let me bring this a little bit closer. And you can see that there is a uh, setting in there for screen. So go ahead and hit screen. You'll see your screensaver and you'll see that there is a folder now named Danielle or whatever you decided to name yours. From there, whenever you turn off your device, it should be your picture. Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope that I was able to help you out. If I was, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will talk to you guys in the future. Happy reading. Bye-bye.